There's no figuring what people eat for breakfast in different cultures around the world. So, Yvonne, what's, what's for breakfast in the DR? Uh, we have a few traditional options. The Dominican Republic, they do this. A crazy ass, how did that happen, concoction of fried, what would one call it? Salami? Bologna? So it's basically deep fried salami, tostones. Many Dominicans also has uh, the spaghetti in the morning. Spaghetti in the morning? Yeah. Before you start pointing fingers, you might look down at your lucky charms or your bright pink, razor sharp crunch berries. But even I gotta admit, this is breakfast? This is Cachaito's place. They're really fast. People stop, grab something, and go to work. Beautiful. Craft. You know, for Dominicans, this is totally normal. Where did this come from, though? I mean, salami. I get the frittura, so that's fundamental. Yeah. But the deep fried salami. Basically, it's become one of uh, our main uh, foods. Yeah, have some. Huh? Thanks, man. Time to call in the network chopper. The Dominican Republic is not some tiny little island. In fact, it's a huge part of an island. Haiti being over there, and the Samana Peninsula, where I'm going, over here. What would be a five-hour drive, much of it over some pretty funky roads, takes only half an hour in a helicopter. We land right on Rincon Beach. Picture freaking perfect and right in time for lunch. What a spot. Can't argue about the ambience. Lobster, basted with orange marinade, grilled over coals, and of course, fried sweet potatoes, coconut bread, and rice and beans, which you must have with just about everything. A place like this, there's always a dog. I think they're all in the same extended family, too. All across the Caribbean, they all look the same. Oh, here we go. They can put that right here. <laughs> Looking good. Looking very good. So they say that when there's flies around, yeah. it's totally fresh. Really? In New York, when the flies are around, it means the old lady in the next apartment is dead. <laughs> ah. That's a beast. Look at that thing. This is gonna work. Man, that's a whole different lobster than what we used to. This species of lobster is indigenous to this area. Known for its freakishly large penis, which is known to thrust into tourists unexpectedly. It's a Dominican lobster. What? Well, so? That's what they say about Dominicans. Yeah. <laughs> But a whole different flavor from, uh, you know, what we know is like New England lobster, a different story. It took me a while to get used to these. New England lobsters are sweet. These are not sweet. These are more, uh, like, more on the savory side. This is old school Caribbean rice, pigeon peas. What do you call the little peas here? Guandules. Guandules. Yeah, that's a moro de guandules. Oh, coconut rice. Yeah, it's a tradition in this part of the island. Different than Santo Domingo. Yes, totally. Less Spanish, more more Afro-Caribbean. More Afro-Caribbean. And for dessert, something special. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I mean, that can't possibly be that. So you get the piña colada in the pineapple. You just can't get better than this, you know? You gotta eat this with a spoon. Mm. Wow, this one is very good. It's a good one, huh? How is yours? Oh, uh, <laughs> delicious. So who comes here? Most of them are tourists. Not many Dominicans come here. Right. It's, it's not that accessible. Not a lot of people come by helicopter. Not a lot of people come by helicopter. But how crowded does it get out here? It's never crowded. It's never, never, never crowded. I've been around the Caribbean. You, you gotta go pretty far to find a beach like this. This is pretty awesome. Did I hear that annoying pina colada song echoing somewhere in my skull? Why, yes. Yes, I did. I wanted a mission. And for my sins, they gave me one. 
bodies are floating down river from the Dolong Bridge. Apparently, I'm interested in orchids. Because next thing you know, I'm on a boat upriver, looking for the elusive flower. The notoriously deceptive yet beautiful flora that seduces male insects by imitating their mates. I trusted Daniel to lead me to where we could find some orchids quickly and in good order. Ooh, clear water, man. Can you drink it? Tú puedes beber las aguas. Se bebe, sí, pero... Well, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Yvonne was a different story. Some say his methods were unsound. Ooh, ooh. He heard things, mostly owls. OK, in his defense, there were owls. But he kept telling me things I didn't want to hear. Really? Let's see how lucky we are, because it's my first time doing the orchid hunt. But I feel lucky today. I heard you can spend two or three hours looking for an orchid. You just go up the hill and you walk, and then you start to see uh, the leaves, and some of them are uh, bloom. Did he say hill? Yeah. Hill, eh? Humping uphill through the jungle not being something I'm into anymore. Let Bear Grylls do that on the way to the freaking Marion. How about mangoes? Let's stop off and get some mangoes. I like some mangoes. So here we are. Usually these things end up with me trudging around in the boonies for hours and coming up with katsu. Surprisingly, after not too long, ah, there we go, bingo. Success. Orchids. Oh, you saw that yes. one? Yes. My fortune is made. I have to say, I was greatly relieved. There she is, an orchid. Great. And actually, this is a mango tree. Oh, I'm waiting for a big juicy mango to drop into my uh, drop into my hands. Preferably pureed with some rum in it. Well, so what do we do next? Cut down the tree? Yep. Okay. But you need to take it out with all the all the roots, everything that is around it. Really? Yeah, so you need to bring bring it all and prepare it in the in the in the branch. I think we will let you live, little orchid. How much can you get for that one if you go sell it in the beef? Thousand pesos como mil pesos? Oh, yeah, around 1,000 pesos. How much is that in dollars? That's like $27. $27? Yeah. yeah. That's not chump change. If we want to continue, we can find more. I'm just saying, the hell with the restaurant business, man. You could yeah. be yanking these things out of the out of the bush all day long and... He said, no, no, the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, there are some other people that uh, they really are making their life out of the orchids. Out of the orchids, right. Yeah. This is something he does for... Right. You know, for I understand they're heavily armed, too, and they're extremely unhappy about other people poaching on their territory and stealing their orchids. That's a rumor I heard. It's him. It was his idea. He wanted the orchids. We were just making a television show. So... We're going to leave it to the nature. I think we'll leave it to nature, because uh, I'm, yeah. I'm all about sustainability. It looks beautiful there. Yeah. Está bonita esa? Sí, está bien bonito. Good catch. Nature's cool. <laughs> 